go. So the polished core has been attached to the spring deck, very, very thinly carded core, and has been stitched down using, well, I like to use a synthetic um, sinew. It's used in the leather fabrication industry, but it, it's a fairly wide tape. It's in the polyester family and it's waxed. So it's relatively innocuous as far as, as um, uh, cross-linking with anything that's in, in the fiber. Um, so it is stitched into the core and into the spring deck and by virtue of the wide stance that it takes, it holds the core nicely into position. You can see that it's, it's in place. And I tightened it down very tightly. In, in um, uh, original construction, these stitches, again, would be, would luft somewhat, would leave some loft around it. When I do set this down, I'll take a little bit more core and set it into these dimples that have been created by the uh, stitching in order to to um, take care of any valleys that might be in it. But um, it should be ready to accept the pod. Okay. Okay, I'm going to set the uh, seat down. And I'm going to bring the pod out. This may be the first time on the film, on the video, that you've seen the historic pod. Again, it's, it is filled with, with straw and with um, flax straw and excelsior, wood shavings. I cut the borders off of the original spring scrim so that um, I'll be able to attach it to the um, to the newly conserved seat deck, but I left the stitching in so that the pod doesn't fall apart in the process of, of reattaching. So I'm going to turn my back to the camera here for a moment. Would you like me to come around to the side, do you think? No, I think this is fine. The piece was thoroughly vacuumed. It was quite dirty all the decorative, or the, the tacks that were in it, upholstery tacks have been taken out. I'm going to pull this toward me just a little bit. Can you still keep it in your field of vision? Yes. And now you can see why it was so important to set the Algerian up inside, because now it has taken care of the hollows that were back behind the edge roll. And also as you extend on back around to the side, you'll be able to see how it will fill the hollow that was leaving a view down inside the mattress. More burlap will be placed over the top of the old burlap. It will be tacked to the frame, and then the piece will be stitched, replicating the original stitches along the pod and along the edge roll. And so it will be relatively flat at the front and rear. It looks a little bit like a pie crust with just a slight crown to the center. It will be ready for upholstery.